So I'm on my way to a consultancy just north of Edmonton here and I was driving by this field and I couldn't help and stop and look at what I was, uh, look closer at this field here. And um, this field is cultivated, it's planted to some form of brassica, I can't tell which one. Um, and so right off the bat you can start making some assessments about what's going on with this soil here, which is important if you are going to a consultancy and trying to figure out um, how to start the remediation process. So um, you can tell that the field's been cultivated and they've probably had to do that because brassica is really like a bacterial soil condition which you get when you cultivate the land or plow it, rototill it. Um, and uh, it's just interesting that this field is absolutely loaded with dandelions. Um, we've got some horsetail there which is a silica dynamic accumulator and we've also got thistle. So uh, my guess is that this field has been cultivated uh, quite a bit um, that's why the dandelion is showing up. It usually shows up when there's a decompaction issue. Um, also, the cultivation has probably made um, the biology that makes calcium plant available not available anymore because um, dandelion accumulates calcium. It always shows up as well when there's an abundance of nitrates. Um, and nitrates always show up after a cultivation and also when fertilizer is used. So we've got oh, an overabundance of nitrates. We've likely got some compaction. Um, and uh, the dandelion's trying to resolve that. Um, and we also got thistle. Thistle always shows up after there's been soil disturbance uh, and this field's been cultivated. So um, just really, really interesting that we can actually look at uh, what's growing in your soil and come up with some pretty interesting design recommendations with regards to how to fix it. So my recommendations for this soil would be to stop plowing it, uh, plant in a heavy cover crop of um, field pea, potentially uh, some tillage radish and a um, annual rye for deep root penetration. Um, that would stop the soil eroding. Uh, it would build enormous amounts of organic matter and it would start to decompact um, the soil. So next time you're in your garden or in your field and you're looking at all of the weeds, stop blaming the problems in the soil on the weeds and start trying to understand what the weeds are actually trying to tell you. Um, one great resource that you can take a look at on Google is just Google dynamic accumulators and you'll learn an enormous amount about plants and what plants are actually doing to remediate your soil.